So now we're going to mount the control unit. Um, with the cat fences we have 8 metres of the insulated wire which goes from the fence to the control unit. So that shouldn't be an issue. Now we have provided a wee template to show where to mount the screws. So place the template where you want to mount the control unit and just centre the screws into these two holes. The spacing is 40 millimetres and we're just going to put these two screws in. We're not going to screw them right in, we're going to leave them sticking out about 5 millimetres. Okay, we're going to take our controller and on the back of the controller there are two little slots and we're just going to hang the controller onto the two screws, just like that. Now the red wire we are going to connect onto the controller. There's a red dot on the front of the controller and on the bottom of the controller below that red dot there is a wee flat terminal. So we're just going to push that onto there and then we're going to take the green wire and it's got a similar end and there's a green dot on the front of the controller. We're going to use that push on terminal and just connect onto the little flat terminal there and hang the controller back on. Okay, now we've got the red wire connected and we're now left with a green wire and a black wire. These two wires are going to connect onto the ground stake. We have a nut and bolt already on there and we are just going to pop the two terminals straight onto that bolt and just put that nut on and tighten it up. We can tighten that up with our spanner. So it's nice and tight. And then we're going to take the ground stake and then we're going to push it into a piece of garden or lawn, doesn't matter, somewhere out of the way, and just push that in so it's about 150 millimetres sticking up from the ground. So that's the ground stake connected. So now we've got the green wire connected, the red wire connected, and the fence is all connected. So now we just want to put power onto the control unit. On the side of the control unit, there is a round jack for that plug to go into. Just plug it in there, pop that back on. The control unit can be mounted inside or outside. Um, a lot of people mount it in a garage or in a laundry, just somewhere out of the way. But if you're lucky enough to have an outdoor power point, then that is superb. So because we're outside, we use the outdoor one. And now we've got everything connected and we're just going to turn the power on. And you'll notice that there is a green indicator light on the front of the controller. This is flashing once every second and this just indicates that the unit is working correctly. And on the front of the control unit there is also a little red button that is a wee power button. Uh, so you can either turn it on and off from the control unit or from the switch on your power point. Okay, so now there's only one thing left to do and that is to test that it's working correctly. So don't do this with bare feet because you just feel the pulse a little bit stronger. So make sure you've got some shoes on and just using the back of your hand just touch the wire and you can just feel that pulse in the wire and that is a deterrent for your cat because your cat is standing on the fence and it will not like that and it will be harmless but it will not like the wee pulse in the wire.